you from? My name is Mutawal The Voice and welcome to my world. So, today I'm in Gara, actually the sixth festival of Nairobi, or you can call the new Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, but it is. So, I want to show you around so that you get to know. So, something close that you need to know about Gara is that it's the immediate neighbor of Nairobi CBD. So, it's actually, it was meant for residential areas, uh, you know, back then. Man, it was like um, the where people live, eh? from the city, now they live in Gara. So now there is more of a commercial area than residential areas. And also a place where you're going to get a lot of hostels, especially for colleges around Nairobi town, or the University of Nairobi students come there to, you know, uh, to have accommodation because the hostels in the universities are not enough to cater for all the students. So that's why there's a lot of in this area. So, man, I want to show you around so that you get to know. <laughs> the camera. So the girl's asking me, in and in, so that I was selling him the camera. So I want to go that way so that he continues showing you. Okay, so as I continue, uh, I said is the is the sixth firstborn of Nairobi. I just want to expound on that. So back then, uh, you know, Gara was one of the places you know, you know to be where it was close, the proximity for the CBD. It was easy peasy. Um, you know, it was amazing, well arranged. You know good roads but you know as years went by after you know a period of time everything started deteriorating and things have changed man like right now uh when you talk about ngara take for example like this huh? you look how beautiful it is amazing it's all chilled out cab road but things are going to change when it's evening time imagine that things change like evening time like you know, prostitution is so open, like, you pass here, man, you can flew all the way to this other side. It's crazy. It's crazy, like, uh, people have made prostitution, like, uh, it's just nothing. So, and uh, right now, people are supporting prostitution, like, you know, it is a normal thing, man. To me, it's not normal. Maybe to you, I don't know. So, you can tell me the comment section. If to you, it's normal. For me... I think it's not normal because when you talk to those you know practicing prostitution you ask them is this what you really want to do most of them they're going to say no this is not what I want to do so there is actually something pushing them or situations are uh, forcing them to be in those positions you can imagine that can you even imagine that so when I say it's a sick um, first born of Nairobi is actually sick, sick, sick. So, uh, those are times there is this gentleman, uh, I don't know from which country, who came and uh, talked about, you know, you know, the zombies of Nairobi. I really felt bad actually, but you know, at the same time, I came also to understand that situations like this even forcing someone from outside to look at that perspective, but still. Uh, I think that was not respected enough to, you know, to you know, call these people and also the street archives or street kids, calling them, you know, the zombies of Nairobi. That's not cool, man. That's not something to do. So, I want to cross there as I continue sharing with you, the, you this story. So, you need to be careful here. You need to be careful. I want to cross. So, I was saying, it is not good especially to call those children uh, zombies, man. Even there is a uh, South African uh, YouTuber, if you know the name, just comment in the comment section. I didn't like at all, simply because, you know, those uh, people, you know, they were born in the streets, not like they chose to be there. So, you calling them zombies, not in a metaphorical way, just in a way portraying that they are not human enough. That was so sad. He's then running away, showing how dangerous they are. But these are people, you know, who need help, actually. They were like kids, man, we need help. That, that is the communication. Someone doesn't have uh, food, 
clothes somewhere to sleep and you expect him or her to be normal and what the reward you give to them is calling them zombies of my robin maybe to you it's normal but um, i don't know i've realized you know most of uh, youtubers are from western countries like they already come with that mentality that you know um, africa is like a shithole place or somewhere where you can just do anything and call people anything and it's just okay that's how serious it is man so this is a roundabout that can lead you to nairobi cbd that's nairobi cbd where so right now we are in ngara so let's continue um imagine man this youtuber this there is one south african and another one from a western country i've forgotten the name but when i i remember the name i'll tell you so these are people we are talking about uh the street kids here artists they are born in the streets they actually need help and then you call them zombies hey, man that's crazy Nini? Kwa nini? Eh? Kopoa. <laughs> oh, the guy was concerned. Nataka kutupeana. It is a slang like uh, are you selling us out or something close to that. So he was like uh, are you a spy or something like that. So you know the fact that I'm in Nairobi me I don't care man. This is my city man. So normally like any other person of course will run away but with me I normally stand. Yes, yeah, say what you want, what do you want? And most of the time when you stand and one listen to them, they shy off. So it's just normal. Huh? The fact that we are in this city of Nairobi, man, uh, nobody can frighten me. That one for sure, for sure. So I want to go this way to the main road as we continue with the topic. So I was saying that's not good. That's my communication. Calling people the zombies of Nairobi. Another one say, I'm running away from the zombies of Nairobi. It's so crazy. That, is, that was so stupid, man. I know, man. And the reason why I'm saying this is because he was talking uh, in Nairobi CBD and some parts of Ngara also, close also to, you know, when you go to Mudurwa and also close to Kipande Road. So they were referring to our fellow Kenyans who have got a challenge, calling them zombies. Hey, man, sorry for that. You know, I was talking about uh, the situation that forces people to be in the streets. And one of the things that also clicked in my mind was the prostitution in Gara, something that is very sickening. And then I remember that story because people's situations have really forced people to be, you know, in the streets. And when someone comes from another country, instead of asking, why is it so? And how can we help? And just calling people zombies. That is that was so disrespectful. I want to cross. No. Let me go this way. So that was so disrespectful according to me. So I'm going this way as we continue with the story. So far, how do you find Gara? Let's go. So my journey continues. I'm still in Ngara. This is a place where we get a lot of victims. Everybody here is a mechanic, you know, doing a lot of, uh, doing the hustle, working so hard, you know. This is a very hard-working nation. But everybody is working, you know, they want something on the table. And that's why you see here a lot of mechanics. So, um, let me tell you something about uh, most of the mechanics here. Like, most of them are uh, like, uh, they do not maybe go to an engineering school, for example. They did not. So, it's like uh, by experience. So, you identify, or maybe if you are a mechanic, you identify people to help you. Then, within uh, a certain period of time, of course, they get used to that work and uh, they are also mechanics. And uh, they are very good. That one I'm gonna show you. Most of them are very good men, even more than those who have gone to the engineering schools and have qualified as, you know, mechanical engineers or technicians or something close to that. So here is where you'll find um, all kinds of them. Like you know, in uh, being a mechanic, there is specialization. Those who are good, you know, uh, in wiring, 
you can find somebody who's good at uh, you know engine works another one other specialization so it's different 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 so you come here maybe you've got someone to help you i'm going this way and then divert to this side yeah so that's how it is but man like 70 percent of people here mechanics so uh uh, I had a friend of mine who used to, you know, live here. Then he shared with me a story that, you know, when you have a car here, you can't leave it outside. If your compound has no space for parking, then it's better just to use matatus or uh, public means of transport rather than buying a car simply because by morning you will find your car dissembled like <laughs> they've stolen everything because they're mechanics they can just disassemble uh, that car within uh, just a few hours or a few minutes so i don't know how sure it is i've never seen people you know uh, removing uh, or disassembling a car uh, in such a speed maybe if you know that comment in the comment section so that i can get to know oh, have you ever been your car has it ever been stolen or some parts of the car has it ever been stolen and how fast was it i just want to know in the comment section so um i want to go this uh, close to um close to uh the super highway then use the use the flyover to cross to the other side then i show you around Ngara the sick fast bomb of Nairobi and the new Sodom and Gomorrah of Africa can you imagine that so all these beautiful faces beautiful smiles when you pass here in the evening is something else so that is also an advice that I want to you know give to give to parents like when you take your child maybe for example in a city like Nairobi just ensure man no matter how difficult the situation is when maybe the student is not able to cater for himself or herself just ensure you give your child something to be able to facilitate him or her in the city as he stabilizes or has, as he or she you know uh, is in school because most of the prostitution here is done by students believe me or not it is done by students so what does that reflect maybe they don't have a way maybe you know to 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 facilitate them in the city like food like you know basic necessities so if they don't get that they look for the shortcut that's why there is high prostitution in gara because of the colleges around nairobi city so is that true in the comment section that you have a friend who has also fallen prey of that and maybe decided to join prostitution because there was no money or any other means for, for today let's go to you know close to the Tika highway cross the you know uh cross the cross the the flyover to the other side as we see much or more about ngara the firstborn the sick firstborn of nairobi and also the new sodom and gomorrah we're still in nairobi kenya the capital of africa but for now let's go So I am in this flyover, uh, this thick uh, super highway. This way you're going along, this thicker going to Thika, Kahawa, going to even Kiambu if you want, going to uh, other places. Not today, thank you. And this way you headed to Nairobi CBD. So opposite there, there is a fig tree, a uh, bus station next to fig tree uh fig tree market i mean so i'm crossing here this flyover uh, so it is a very busy market actually and a very busy uh bus station so see that way you're headed to town so you can see it is a flyover but still busy people you know working man doing business here every day to ensure you know they get something on the table so that's how the life of the city is so i want to cross that other side i hope you can you're able to see i want to cross there so from here is when you can get to see how it looks so these fig, fig tree bus station or you can call it fig tree 
you know market so you no know, also a lot of beggars most of them come from tanzania so people pick them you know how people take advantage of other people taking them um promising pro promising them good life only to bring them to a lot of you know sorrow so you know yeah so in east africa you know kenya is the biggest economy so when someone tells you there is an opportunity for example for someone like that who is um, a disabled person uh many people tend to believe maybe that is true but uh, that is not true you only you only get the penis that you know people can be able to give you so here th these are the vehicles to pick road and also to easily so i want to cross this way and also as i finalize uh this video and just say it has been amazing you know talking to you uh it has been amazing you know thank you for your support and every time subscribing liking commenting it has been all amazing so have a good time man and may god bless you my name is Mtal the voice from kenya the capital of africa